Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So with the new pack that we got, StrangerVille, I had a spark of inspiration as I usually do when a new pack comes out with really cool build or buy mode objects. So I decided that for this week, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably already seen that this week is going to be kind of like exclusive just to the StrangerVille video. So I will be uploading and probably doing double uploads too of speed builds and, um, different parts of our mini series our LP and <clears throat> I wanted to sorry I, it's like really early in the morning so I still kind of have like morning voice I have my coffee though I'm working on it but I really wanted to focus my build on the three main little neighborhoods um, or not really neighborhoods there's two neighborhoods in StrangerVille there's um, this little area right here that I'm building in that has kind of the shotgun houses and then behind it there's a trailer park and then there's the upper class very beautiful gated community that I'm obsessed with but those will come later this week I wanted to start it off with this house because I think it is so cute and apparently with a free update i wouldn't have known this if i didn't watch simlessy's videos religiously but we got some new color swatches with this siding here with the free update before we got the game pack and one of those colors was this bright yellow siding which i'm obsessed with so i have a feeling y'all it's going to be a problem i'm going to overuse the mess out of this color siding because um the build that i built for you know the wealthier side of town it, yeah it uses that same color but i could not i could not stop <laughs> it's so pretty and i want more see i just i love how they do that they update us with little random things that we didn't really know that we wanted but like we needed we need different colors we need brighter colors i'm kind of disappointed there was only two i believe it was this yellow and then a bright orange which is fine i love the yellow it makes up for it but i would have liked to see a lot more um especially considering with the game pack strangerville we didn't get any like new furniture really we got stuff that you know went along with the storytelling and the gameplay which is you know it's understandable it's a game pack but uh this would have been like the perfect opportunity to give us some you know tattered couches and stuff like that worn couches just different things like that but overall i am very happy with the pack i've really been enjoying it i really really do love the world the world is absolutely beautiful and um i love the aesthetic of it i know a lot of people have been talking about the world and the game pack and there's like a little bit of controversy i think for the most part everybody is enjoying the game pack they think it's cool they think it's fun they think it's different it was only twenty dollars we get a new world a new career and laptop so i mean you really can't find too much to complain about and it's worth the price even if you don't like the whole mystery and storytelling just for the new world and just for the military career and the laptop if you have an extra twenty dollars or at least it's twenty dollars in the united states i think it's well worth the price um but I know a lot of people said that it was kind of rushed and kind of lazy, um, which in my opinion, okay, I see that they did not play test houses. They kind of duplicated base game houses, which, yeah, that's lazy. I understand. Um, for me, I like to go in and renovate houses that EA has built. So for them to duplicate houses, it's kind of disappointing. I agree with a lot of people that have said the bar and the library was kind of rushed and put together and just not very nice looking which most ea builds aren't very nice looking but it seemed that these were like very rushed um but to me it's fine whatever i'm not really complaining about it i'll renovate it i'll make it nice i just i love it i love the midwestern feel of this town i think it's so beautiful oasis springs is my favorite world in the sims 4 as most of you know and i'm, I'm excited to have another world like that but we all know if you are a um, Kari Sims subscriber and you watch any of my builds and any of my ramblings you know <laughs> that I am holding out for a country pack and it doesn't have to be like country theme like out on the farm yeehaw nothing like that but to give a world where it's like farmhouses and hills and you know plains I mean I don't live on the plains I live like in South Alabama like where there's like forest and stuff and like close to the beach and stuff like that but you know even 
kind of like Riverview, I guess you would say, or Appaloosa Plains um, from The Sims 3. I think that is a fitting type world to where we can have farmhouses and just a small town feel. I really, really want to see that in a future pack. Um, I'm crossing my fingers <laughs> that we get something like that because I like to have different aesthetic worlds and different type worlds that portray different type places. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? But anyways, overall, I think the world is beautiful. I love it. And for this house specifically, um, I wanted to go kind of like the surrounding shell houses in the background, which are all shotgun style houses, which matches this like Midwestern thing perfectly. So that is why the house is shotgun. It's kind of big to be a shotgun house. I didn't make it as narrow. I kind of spread it out and made it a little bit wider because I really wanted to fit two bedrooms in. So typically you would see this house and think, oh, that's a starter house. Well, wrong. This is not a starter house. This house is kind of expensive because you know me. I just, <laughs> I don't do starter houses. And I'm telling you, I'm going to challenge myself coming soon after all this hype of Strangerville. I'm going to challenge myself to create a base game build okay base game starter home build and it might not be very cute but i just want to say hey i've done it before so yeah um this house to me is technically a starter home the way i play with starter homes in the sims is when i have a family and i'm starting out their life i kind of think of it as real life situations okay um you can rent a house you can get mortgage for a house and you know you move in sometimes you uh, don't have nice stuff like this which is why the starter houses are a little bit more appropriate but sometimes you do sometimes you have the money you can go and you know get some furniture finance stuff you know i'm just trying to think realistically so um i will give them free real estate on, move them into a house that they're renting or whatnot, and then I'll take their money away. That's how I play with starter houses, but for this house, I specifically had a family in mind, um, <clears throat> just because it has really helped me kind of go with the flow when it comes to, you know, decorating the house and whatnot. I kind of learned that in my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. It's just so much easier when you know the family members that you are building the house for. And so for this house right here in particular, I imagine this being a military couple, or at least the husband is in the military. And I don't know how it is in other countries, but I know in the United States that for in some places, some bases, military bases, um, obviously you move around a lot, right? Well, I know that sometimes you, you, you can live on the base and there's like houses and like gated neighborhoods where you can live with your families. And if not that, they help you get housing and they're typically nice houses. And so I imagine that this would kind of be the situation. They're a very young couple. He's not very high ranked in the military and he was transferred to Strangerville. So he brought his wife, they're newlyweds. And I imagine that this house is like the perfect size for them. I imagine that most of it would come furnished. You know, they would bring a little bit of their own personalization and their own, you know, bedding and stuff like that. But for the most part, like the furniture, couches, table, counters, all of that was pretty much the same. That's why I really wanted to keep the uh, Midwestern old timey feel to the house alive, even though I imagine a very young couple living here. Um, just because for that reason, I imagine that they would just kind of move in and, you know, like I said, just add their little touches of stuff here and there. But for the most part, it came furnished, you know what I'm saying? And um, I wanted to make it two bedroom because I like the idea of them possibly having a child. Um, sometimes I like to play personally with um, the Woohoo Whiskey Woohoo on at least like 5%. So, you know, if you're getting down enough, you might end up pregnant, which is realistic, you know, it's realistic. So, you know, anything can happen. They might not be planning for a kid right away, but things can happen and she could end up pregnant and now they have room for a child. They have an extra bedroom. So I always like to try to play with at least two bedroom houses just for that reason, just to go with the storyline a little bit. And, um, Right now, the second bedroom is actually just kind of like a hobby room for them, but I think that there is plenty of space in the house. Probably not plenty. I'm exaggerating. There is space, though, for you to take those items that are in the hobby room and move it elsewhere around the house, like even the backyard, or there's like a little spare 
little corner in their bedroom I left blank just for that reason. But also, I was impressed. This house, I was able to fit a laundry room in. Now, once again, if you are a Kari Sim subscriber and you watch my speed build, you know <laughs> that even in my recreations of The Sims 3 houses, I do my hardest to include laundry or a laundry room or something like that just because it's realistic. Your Sims are wearing clothes. Their clothes are going to get stinky. You need to wash them. <laughs> so I was able to put that in there, kind of cram the kitchen a little bit, but that's fine. I think this house is so cute. I love, 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 love the new doors that we got. Um, the, the doors I'm using on the inside and also the doors on the outside and you saw when I built the house started the exterior I could not I knew we had those big windows and those big doors but I couldn't find them for some reason and I was thinking um, is my pack glitch like why can't I find them and then I was like duh Carissa come on out like you have to go to medium level walls and so I was able to find it so I kind of changed the wall height and went in and included those and I think it looks so much better I just absolutely freaking love that you know old-timey midwestern victorian type style that they gave us with these houses so yeah i really appreciate it it's kind of closest thing to country <laughs> so i think that's why i like it so much but anyways here i am decorating their bedroom so for their bedroom i like it but <sighs> it's, it's just so long and narrow it's honestly not very decorated i didn't want to clutter it too much so i kind of went back and forth right here with adding an end table to this side but i just thought from like a distance it looked way too crammed and cluttered so i kind of left that corner blank but like i said if you was to done with this house move a little nice military couple in i think that if they had a child i would use that corner to put that little bitty corner you know one tile desk there um that way they had an area for their computer but in the hobby room you'll see i didn't give them a desktop computer i gave them a laptop computer because you know it's a laptop and i'm so excited about them so essentially they're portable so obviously in a speed build if you want it included in the house you need to set it down somewhere so i sat it down on the desk you can use it at the computer not the computer table. yeah you can use it at the desk the computer table if you will and you can use it at the dinner table. You can put it in your inventory, take it to the library, use it wherever. I'm really shocked that we got laptops with this case, um, or case with this pack, because I imagine that we would get it with seasons. We know we're getting seasons. They've hinted at it, it's coming, it's coming soon. We're getting seasons, not seasons, oh my gosh, university. Was I saying seasons that whole time? University is what I'm talking about, y'all know that. <laughs> I would imagine that we would get laptops with university but instead they gave it to us with strangerville which tells me for a fact that we are getting we're getting university next i am believing it um i'm trusting i'm trusting it <laughs> but anyways here's our little hobby room so i just gave them a desk like i said the laptop i gave them the cork board and i put some you know postcards just imagine that it'd be from like their friends and family their places that they visited in the military and then i use that new robotic little exercise kick machine thing um, that came with the pack haven't used that yet but i imagine it would work very well for somebody in the military career so i ended up adding that in there for him and then a little piano maybe she's into music i wanted to give her something to do as well because um, i don't know what career she would have i kind of imagine her being a teacher which can we please get that career next somehow some way include it please we are missing that career i'd be okay with all the other careers now that we've got in military just give me education career and we're good but i imagine her being a teacher for some reason so i mean i don't know we don't even have that career but Anyways, yeah, this build is wrapping up, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it is available for download on the gallery, and yeah, <laughs> um, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you have not, and with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye!